So greetings from Pennsylvania once again, and we're back to exploring another section of the Union Canal here in Dauphin County. Of course, we recently just kind of picked this series back up again. Still late March, kind of got chilly once again, uh, but it'll, well, it might warm up to about 50 degrees today, but good, good exploring weather, I guess you could say. But anyway, I'm here, uh, this is Boathouse Park. We were here actually not too long ago. I parked here to hike at this section of the uh, horseshoe trail that goes up through here. So we're actually going to be walking on the horseshoe trail a little bit here. I got, I'm going to do a road walk first to get to where I'm going to start this hike. We'll get to the canal and hike back this way along the canal. So let me show you where I am. Yeah, so once again, this is Boathouse Park. That is Sand Beach Road. We've been on that several times for the horseshoe trail. Actually, the Horseshoe Trail follows it up that way across the Swatara Creek. Um, the Union Canal is right up there, you know, just across the creek. We'll, we'll actually walk over here when we go across the bridge. But, uh, like I said, I'm going to do the road walk first, way up that way, and then we'll hike back along the canal. And we'll leave, we'll leave the Jeep here to wait for us. All right, so here is the Swatara Creek. Our canal is on the other side over there. traffic coming through but that section will be for another day in fact I see a little bit of a trail down there we are exploring the section over on this side so yes yeah, so the canal is on this side the, the stream the creek so if all goes as planned we'll be coming back this way today like I said I'm doing the road walk first to get over that way this is all Milton Hershey Trust land once again. Yeah, just taking a quick glimpse down this way. We just walked up the road here. Um, I don't really see anything that looks too canal, but it came right through here. So, yeah, I'm just assessing my situation. Like I said, I'm gonna be walking back this way, but that doesn't, if I have to walk on that field, right? It doesn't look too bad. Um, there's, looks like there's a trail on an old road right here. Not sure how far down that goes, but anyway. We'll figure that out. I want you to go through there. All right, let's, we gotta go up this way though. Yeah, there up on that telephone pole is our yellow blaze for the uh, horseshoe trail. Might have been like a month ago we did this section. Of course, the horseshoe trail goes off that way. We're gonna, our road we're looking for is gonna take us that way though. Right, so the horseshoe trail goes off that way. That was that reroute, that one episode that we did went all the way around that way, but we're gonna head up this way. Check out that old house. And uh, this is Canal Road, so we gotta head this way. Then I gotta road walk it up to another section of woods up here that also belongs to the Milton Hershey Trust, who I, whose land I have permission to be on. Thanks once again for that. And then we'll make our way down to the canal and, and back like I said. All right, so this is the section of woods I'm looking for on this side. Do the no trespassing sign, the Percy Trust Company. Like I do have permission. So somewhere in here, we're just gonna dive in. And our canal is down that way somewhere along the creek. Just gotta figure out the best place to dive in here. All right. So their, their property end is just up here though too. And we're back at it again, busting through the underbrush and the thorns. Of course we're not even at the canal yet. Yeah, if you remember the last section, it was pretty bad in some spots. So we'll see how this section is. Not a long section today, but it could be tough, we'll see. Trying to figure out where to go. Check this out, it's an old uh, turtle shell, a box turtle. So there's a few of the scales on it. I might take that home with me. That's pretty cool actually. You can see, hold on a second here. You can see the, the backbone in there, the vertebrae. That's pretty cool. All right, we are almost there. 
at the start of our canal journey for today. I can see the Swatara Creek down there. From the satellite images and stuff, it looked like the canal was pretty well defined down here. We'll find out in a moment. Um, oops. I think I see, I guess this is it right here. Yeah, there's the, there's the towpath. We're right in, the canal is right smack against the Star Creek. So right here is the canal, right there's the towpath. I was looking over here earlier, early, oh, I was looking over here earlier, it just gets obliterated here probably from flooding and stuff, but this is our buddy here, the canal once again. So this is not where I left off in my last video on the Union Canal. It was just up a little ways, maybe, maybe not, I don't think even a mile up that way, but there, maybe half a mile. There are several smaller properties in a row that I did not have permission for, so I just obviously have to skip that section. So, but we have permission to pick up right here again. I think it was, we left off at around Bow Creek up that way. I should probably toss a map up showing you what my route is today. And I've talked about it, but also just a reminder too that I am on private property. Just because I have permission to be here doesn't mean that you do. If you want to check out what other things I'm looking at today, you have to get your own permission. Just got to say that. All right, so heading off in this direction. Yes. Oh, just step in a hole. Ouch. That kind of, oh, groundhog hole. Anyway, so right here, that well-defined line I did, that's the towpath trail right there. Looks like our canal, our canal gets a little deeper here in a bit. Um, it's looking pretty thick, but doable. All right, let's see what's up this way. I should mention too that there are no locks in this section that I'm doing today, but that doesn't mean that we won't find anything. You never know when you have an opportunity like have an opportunity like this to hike along the actual canal. You might find other little treasures from the past and things like that. So hope maybe we'll find something like that. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Alright, let's get through the thorns. <laughs> yeah the canal's looking pretty beat up through here. It's actually right down through there. Not not super distinctive through this area. But I don't know if you remember like last year I made up that one I didn't make it up um, I adapted that one song, you know, The Sound of Silence, I think it is. Was it Simon and Garfunkel sung that song? But instead of, you know, Hello Darkness, my old friend, you know, I think it changed to, you know, Hello Thorns, my old friend, you know, I've come to walk with you again. But I, uh, I came up with another one from uh, the last, our last adventure on the Union Canal, which was extremely thorny to the point of driving me nuts. I don't remember who originally wrote or sang this song. There's that song, you know, I fought the law and the law won. I won't sing it for you, but I made up a new one, you know, I fought the thorns and the thorns won. <laughs> I fought the thorns and the thorns almost won. They drove me nuts last time. Just checking my phone here. That little blue dot is us. I don't know if, you can, I don't know if it's focusing on the camera there, but we are right on the canal. Google Maps often shows there's a blue line there where the canal is. I'm not sure if that's showing up anyway, but we are. It doesn't look like much right here, but we are standing in the canal and I'm getting some messages here. Yeah, if, if you didn't know there was a canal here, you wouldn't realize that you were walking through one. It's completely gone. This is a flood plain for the Sotara Creek, so it, when you get those historic floods, it just washes up here, washes the towpath away, fills the canal with muck and mud and things. and. You'd hardly even know it's here. I can't even see a towpath anywhere over there. There's a bird singing. I believe that's a cardinal over there. It is warming up, feeling more spring light. Spring like. He once again can't really see the canal. I feel like I can see the edge of it there a little bit maybe. Maybe I'm just dreaming. <laughs> anyway, we'll keep on going. 
Not too bad, it's a little wet through here, but not terribly thorny. I mean, they're here, but it's not like impenetrable. So the thorns are not winning today yet. Yet. So this is looking canalish again through here. This is our canal. I'm pretty sure that is our towpath trail right there. So kind of looking more canalish here again. Just got to figure out how I want to do this. I think I want to try and get over there to where the towpath is. It's really wet through here. It's a little easier than battling the thorns, but anyway. Yep, here is more of an open field through there, so we might, because you can see this is getting kind of really wet and just not so great. <coughs> so I think we might uh, try to make our way up through there. And obstacles everywhere. I'm not just walking across this. All right. Yep, there's their field. Once again, our canal is, see these large trees, it's right there, so. I can see the I can see the road from here. I see a truck going across. We're not too far from the road up there. Just peeking in on the canal here once again. Uh, I did make it across that water, walking along the edge of the field here a little bit. You can see how all these trees are growing right on the towpath. This is a little too wet to walk in, and I don't have permission. That's no longer Milton Hershey land over there anymore. So can't walk on that side anymore. Maybe we'll see. I don't think I want to walk along through here either. As I keep going that way, but. All right. So we'll probably make our way out to the field a little again. I'll pop in right now and then take a look at the canal. Well, looks like we can sneak in through here. Once again, the road we're headed to is right up there. Yeah, the other side looks really nice to walk on. But. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not walking through that, so. Yeah, but over there looks pretty clear, but like I said, I don't have permission for over there, but. Let's take a look. It looks like someone made a, there's an old road that comes through here, goes right over the canal. Filled it in right here. Canal came right across here. Ooh. Yeah, because there you can. Oh, it's totally filled with water in there. We'll try to get a view over there in a moment. Yeah, look at all this old wire. Wow. Yeah. All these are rolls of. Like fencing, a whole bunch of it here. So all this is, all the way over here too. And you can see how we ain't walking through that. <laughs> all filled with water. But yeah. Yeah, that's some decent scrap metal value actually. Yeah, but it's just here uh, rusting away all that fencing. Anyway, make way back out here again the gush. Still quite a bit of water in there. And here's the towpath <laughs> through all that tangled mess. But I'm just walking right here, literally 20 feet from the canal. So if you look over, you can't see it anymore because all the, the brush. Uh, what happened here? Looks like someone made a, a dam across here. That's why it's all backed up. Let's see if we can get up there. Yeah, you have all this water filling it in here, but this is why this, this is not supposed to be here. I mean, it's here, but I mean, it's the canal goes through here, but this was dumped here at one point, kind of damming up the water in here. It's been there for a while, it looks like. Well, let's try and get up there. I gotta get uh, around all this. Yeah, it's like a big pile of Soil and rubble was just paid place here at one point in the past. 
All right, well, let's keep going this way. You can see the, clearly see the canal going up through there again. Huh, looks like a couple places where they just dumped the dirt in here. That's kind of what they did back then. The canal was abandoned. They just used it for places to dump stuff. Oh yeah, speaking of in trash too, there's an old tire there. I feel like I'm seeing some trash up that way too we might check out. If it's older trash, it's kind of cool to look at. But anyway, let's uh, make our way up there. And not too bad of an area to walk through here. This is the tow path here once again. <clears throat> it's just not completely overgrown. Yeah, there is some. I see an old, I see a bottle in there. I don't think it's too old though. Most likely came from down the hillside there. Yeah, but these water filled air, water filled areas create a nice habitat for different, you know, turtles and frogs and birds and things like that that use areas like this. So it's a nice little wetland area may not stay wet all year long but uh sometimes they call these like vernal ponds like seasonal ponds but looks like it continues all the way up there well i'm starting to feel entrapped <laughs> this has turned into a my field over here has become a swamp i don't want to walk through that but i might have to go back towards the canal there's a posted sign up here on this who's this Oh, that's just Hershey Trust Company. Okay, so that must be... Because <clears throat> I know eventually the other side was their property too. I know this over here is. So if I could get over there, um, it would be easier walking. Because yeah, going back that way, there are several properties that I didn't have permission for, but this must be their land again. Actually, up here... Looks like the canal is blocked again up there, right there. So we might be able to, we'll see, let's get up there. Looks pretty cool though, the canal. I like greenery up there. Yeah, so down there, that's the direction we came from down there. Kind of had to make my way around the thorns, but here's another spot where the canal got filled in. I'll show that to you in a moment. There. Yeah, so I was looking down there again, and you can see it all, all got filled in here at some point in the past. There's no more ditch here anymore. Not sure why. Like I say, it was a convenient place to get rid of, you know, stuff. Our tree stand, but the canal you can see it pick up once again on the other side of this. Let's go over here. Yeah, once again, there it is, it's all filled in with water again. I just noticed you have these here, these are those Osage oranges. You point out there's another video, they're kind of shriveled now, but yeah, I think that's from. Uh, yeah, this tree right here is an Osage orange. Yeah, so where do we go from here? Obviously not walking in the canal. The top, uh, that was all wet over there. I think, once again, I believe this is Milton Hershey land here once again. Um, I don't see any posted signs. So I think I'll kind of walk along this hill, so I think. And you can hear the traffic, we're not too far from the road. Just taking a little break up here on the hillside. But yeah, I mean, you know, as always, I'm just sitting thinking too, like, you know, back, you know, in the 18, 1800s, you could sit up here on this hillside and watch the canal boats come through. You know, and see the mules pulling them through the canal. It would have been, uh, it, would, it would have been wider back then and deeper with water, but you would be able to see that. Would have looked a lot different. Oh, first snake of the year. I don't know if you can see him. Let me zoom in. I'm trying to find him on the screen here. There he is, just a garter snake. 
it's I guess it's warm in the sun, but it's a kind of a chilly day. Yeah. Hey, buddy. All right. We won't disturb him too much. It's a warmer day, buddy, but we'll walk past him. He's probably kind of chilly. He's not too uh, moving around too much. Yeah, first snake of the year. That's cool. There's a whole bunch of uh, daffodils blooming over here. Now, they're, they're not native. They don't grow wild. wild. They're either planted here or, or dumped here. Yeah, a whole bunch of all different yellow ones, white ones. Yeah, I always talk about the farm I grew up in, but that, that's what this reminds me of. We had daffodils growing all over the place from years of people planting them. Now, I doubt they were actually planted here. I wonder if they just got like tossed over the hillside. Who knows, maybe someone did. But a lot of times where you find daffodils, there was a, a house nearby, but wouldn't be one over there. Oh, maybe, maybe it's because of the canal, who knows. All right, but they're, they're pretty down there. Yeah, and speaking of our canal, it kind of, you can kind of see it right here. It's dwindling and it just pretty virtually disappears right through here. And which is kind of what we were seeing when we were up by the road, which is right there. It wasn't, there's not much of a canal here anymore. So I'm thinking uh, a lot of stuff got dumped on this hillside over the years and just filled it in. But pretty easy walking through here now. Once again, the canal would be right through here, but like I said, it just got filled in, I think. But when you've been abandoned for you know, over 100 years, almost 150 years, you know, that's what happens. Yeah, up here's this old road or whatever that we pointed out earlier in the video when I was up by the road. So I take this right up there. And then in the next video, let's get across here. We will head that way. I'll probably park once again up at what's it called Boathouse Park. We'll walk up here and head this way. The canal would be just down at the bottom of this hill. I think it's filled in down here too. But this down here is also Milton Hershey land. Not up here, there's some private houses up here. But yeah, lock, uh, lock 28 is down that way somewhere. Don't have much hope of there being anything left of it, but we'll talk about why in a later episode. Yeah, so I said next time we'll make our way through here. All right, we gotta make our way back to the park though. But that'll be it then for this video, folks. We made it back a shore section, still a lot of thorns and muck and mud again. Saw our first snake of the year for the spring. It's beautiful daffodils, but anyway, it's always a good day to be out in the woods, thorns or no thorns. All right, hopefully we'll see you on the next one, folks. Thanks for coming along.